The much-delayed James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled for launch on December the 18th of this year. All being well, the $10 billion instrument will blast off from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana atop an Ariane 5 rocket and then head out to the L2 Lagrangian point from which it will operate a million miles from Earth. The new space telescope, when fully deployed, will be as big as a tennis court and has a segmented mirror that's 6.5 metres or 21 feet across, with six times the collecting area of Hubble's 2.4 metre wide mirror. Whereas Hubble works in the near ultraviolet, visible and near infrared, the James Webb Telescope will observe in a lower frequency range from long wavelength visible light to mid-infrared. Development of the James Webb Telescope began in 1996 with a projected cost of $500 million and a planned launch in 2007, but the project experienced numerous delays and cost overruns. Now, finally, it seems, the long-awaited mission is soon to begin. This will be the most powerful and complex telescope ever launched. Its infrared vision will allow it to see back to the dawn of the universe 13 billion years ago when the first stars and galaxies were forming. It will also be able to peer inside clouds of interstellar dust where stars and planetary systems are forming today. And it will allow us to examine the light from exoplanets to look for telltale signs of life. Named for James E. Webb, who was administrator of NASA from 1961 to 1968, the new space telescope is a joint mission of NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, and is the last big astrophysics mission of its generation to be built. Its nominal mission time is five years, with a goal of ten years. If it performs to expectations, it will lead to a revolution in our understanding of the universe as great as that brought about by Hubble.